Hey, how's it going everyone? I just want to say thank you so much for coming out to the stream last night. I had an absolute blast. I plan to do another one either today or tomorrow. Probably all weekend to be honest. Anyways, a lot of you noticed that my gear and my progress in the stream is way ahead of the video series. So in today's episode, I'm gonna get you guys completely caught up to speed. Enjoy. Okay, so in the last episode, we started the Slayer grind, we unlocked the Broad Arrows, and we also got some sick loot from the Clue Scrolls that we did. I am now officially the best looking Buccaneer in the Twisted League. And now that I got this pirate hat, it's time to get serious. Okay, I'm gonna go out this stuff real quick and we will be back. Okay, let's go ahead and use all these uh, insult heads. As you can see, I alked all that stuff, got 2.2 mil. So I am trying to get this cash stack up to about 3 mil so I can get 99 construction. So we're gonna be opening some caskets and alking and then we'll stop the clues from there. So hopefully we get some good alks right here. <laughs> that has to be the worst clue ever. I'll take the Watson teleports, but god damn. Nah. Eh, nah. Nothing. Okay, here's another five hard clues. Some ceridoman plate legs, some trimmed red dehyde, and some more, yep, there we go. Last one. Hey, and some bandos plate legs. Okay, so that puts us at 2.7 mil, which should put us pretty dang close to 99 construction. Here's 76 wood cutting. 77. Here's 78 wood cutting. And if you didn't know already, wood cutting is actually one of my slower skills. It's only 10 times XP. First world problems. Aha, there is 80 wood cutting. That's very nice. We're gonna get some extra league points for that. I don't know how many logs I've chopped in the bank. I'll probably update you in a sec here. Yeah, so we are currently sitting at 10,000. 400 oak planks. I've chopped these all myself. Harvester has helped out a little bit. This should be enough planks to get us to 99 construction. I hope, I'm crossing my fingers. I actually forgot that I had this dust battle staff in the bank right now, which means I can save one extra inventory space. It won't make a huge difference to my XP rates, but at least I'll be doing this in style. There's 63 construction, but more importantly, 1750 total level and that's gonna be 80 80 construction <laughs> i think this only took about 15 20 minutes not bad at all honestly i haven't been recording much while doing this but i just want to show you that i'm about to get the six hour log today we are going so hard for this construction it'll be so awesome when we get that skill cape so i just found out that i need 200k gp in order to build the room that you need for the jewelry box and that'll give us unlimited teleports to winter todd unfortunately i have no money because i spent it all on oak planks so it looks like we're gonna have to do some more clues hey hey there's 92 range I just got 84 farming from sweet corn. I, I can't say I've ever done that before. Just hit 90 construction recently and we're still building these larders. We're charging right ahead. We still got eight mil XP to go, but uh, this is fast as fuck. So I have these teak planks stocked up in my inventory. I figure I may as well use them on the way to 99. Guys, I just got 80 magic from teleporting to my house. I'll take those lead points. 96, baby. I'm trying out this other angle. I feel like it's a little bit better, you know? Wait, no, no, no. Um, there's no getting that back, is there? Well boys, that was my only 200K, so I guess we're gonna be doing some more clue scrolls. Okay, I did four, I didn't get anything useful from them, but we did hit our 200K, so I guess now I just gotta make some more jewelry and we can make another jewelry box. I am such an idiot. There 
is another six hour log. Just going to show you that I have no life. Let's see here, let's just uh, build this bookcase right here and ta-da. 99 construction the only skill in the game that you can get a skill cape for and luckily this just happens to be one of the most useful skill capes in twisted league all right mr estate agent give me that juicy cape oh yeah so the stats on this cape are best in slot for the entire twisted league and it also gives you unlimited teleports to your house do you understand how big of a game changer this is, man? That means unlimited altar teleports and unlimited teleports to the host Sidious area right there and unlimited teleports to the winter tot because I have a jewelry box in there as well. This cape changes everything and it only took me 16 hours to obtain as well. I started doing some library because I wanna get base 60s in all my skills and rune crafting is my lowest. So this is gonna be torturous, but uh, at least it'll give us a lot of league points. Okay, it's been, I think, uh, an hour, maybe two hours. I'm not even sure. I, I'm kind of losing track of time in here. But here is 59 rune crafting. One more to go. There it is, 60 rune crafting. I am gonna be done at the library for a little bit. Um, we'll probably have to come back for 77, but for now, I'm fine with 60. Well, we're good. We're good for now. Okay, so my main goal is to blow up. So my main goal right now is to get 25 million fire making XP because uh, it'd be nice to get some extra seeds. And also it'll be a nice boost for the points and we can also train agility in between. So sounds like a good deal to me. Plus we're getting seven mil XP per hour. So I'm fine with that. And at this stage in the game, no one's doing winter tots. So just look at the points. Look at those points. Here's a few crates for you. Also, we're getting pretty close to 100 kill count. Don't expect much from these. Yeah, not much, but whatever. Here's another six more crates. Ooh, those warm gloves, uh, ah. Oh, well, I, I guess I already have some. We'll get an extra crate for this. Just coins. Oh, I almost didn't press record. Ah, dragon dagger. I could have used some mystic gloves, but that's okay. And here's 66 prayer and 80 slayer. Now that we have the construction grind out of the way, we are on a sure shot to get higher slayer. And the first achievement for that goal will be 85 slayer for the abyssal whip. Even with 10 times XP, slayer is still a very slow skill to train comparatively to other skills. So we still got a long ways to go. What do we got from the Grooby key? Some toad flax all, I'll take it. Undead druid task complete. And we got a worm task. Let's see here, what do we get? Monkfish, I'll take that. I will take these any day. That's some free cooking XP. I would much prefer to do cooking this way instead of the mess hall. So that's fine with me. And we got the points right now. So I'm gonna go ahead and unlock red dragons from the Slayer Master. That way we can start getting that free crafting XP I was talking about last episode. Oh, yes. Yes, yes, yes. A dragon sword. Boys, we got a dragon sword. That's one in 2000. We could have gotten some other shit, but we got a dragon sword. Best in slot for the time being, at least until we get a whip or a hosta. I mean, I mean, it has, a, it has a special attack, you know? Looks pretty cool. Worm task complete. And yes, I did bank all the bones because I have a brilliant plan for those. Check it out. What do we get here? 60K? Okay. Congrats, dude, you made it in the video. Welcome to the Caribbean, lad. Time to check the U tree for 72K farming XP and 85 farming. That is excellent because it means we can enter the highest tier and we can also get hard contracts. Very beautiful. Filling up my compost, filling up my compost. I totally forgot I can upgrade this altar to a limestone altar. Best altar in game. I'm pretty sure it gives you a 250% bonus on the bones when you use them which is not quite as good as the Forthos dungeon, but we'll put up with those rates for the sheer convenience. Yeah, 1375 XP per worm bone, not too bad. 
Nice, 70 prayer. Remember when I chopped 10,000 oak logs? Well I, also, well, I also got a shit ton of bird nests. A lot of people might not know this, but the harvester relic actually gives you triple bird nests in addition to like the usual resources. So pretty handy. We're going to use those for brews later on. Just doing some cooking right here. Keep in mind that we have 20 times experience in the cooking skills. So the levels literally just fly by. Cooking lobsters literally gives 3.4 mil XP an hour. Wow, so we got 86 cooking from the fish we had in the bank. I don't think we'll have to do any more of that mess haul, luckily, so. So I got this brutal black dragon task, but luckily, because we got forced to do that blue dragon task early on in episode, what was it, seven? We now have a nice healthy supply of anti-fires, which is gonna make these much more relaxing, and I don't even have to pay attention to the screen. Very nice, and they have good drops, so may as well do the task, you know? So I took a break to do some clues and it looks like we just hit 94 fletching. Yup, we still got 50k headless arrows to make. I'll be your dad, Ingus. But uh, we'll, we'll knock those out while we're doing all these clues. All right, I'm gonna end this video off with nine medium caskets, let's go. Last one. Pickles. You thought I was gonna end the video, didn't you? 76 herb lore coming in. I have literally made every potion in my bank and there is 78 herb lore. That is the requirement to do some Chambers of Xeric solo. Hell yeah. There's a big one, 70 smithing. I really enjoy these steel bars. 73 smithing means adamantite bolts and we can add some diamond and ruby bolts and enchant them and that's gonna be our best ammo for raids. Okay boys, I think it's about time we tested out the dark totems and take on Scotizo. Let's do this. I mean, this kill has probably taken me like three, four, five minutes, but the nice thing is the eyeballs don't seem to be respawning, so shouldn't be too difficult to knock these out. Just time consuming. Eh, yeah, rune plate skirts, not the best loot in the world, but what can you expect? There's only one item that I would really freak out about, and that would be the onyx, which is one in a thousand. So chances are we aren't gonna get it. Yeah, I didn't expect much. So for the Kebos Hard Diary, I need to kill one lizard man shaman, and I've never actually killed these before. So uh, hopefully this goes well. Ah, uh, no dragon warhammer, sad game. <laughs> My first zombie kill, I got a rune scimitar. I should have came here a lot earlier, shouldn't I? But that was another hard task complete. So I have to steal some goods for Captain Khaled, and I have never done this mini game, which is, Something I kind of enjoy about the Twisted League. There's so many pieces of content that I've just never bothered to do. So I really appreciate that about this, this whole uh, league. Here's another thing I have never done before. Blast mining. Who the hell does blast mining in the main game? I mean, I'm sure some people do, but not I. I need to get 70 mining for another hard task. And I figure I may as well do it this way because I, I cannot be asked to mine a bunch of iron or coal. So, so far I'm kind of enjoying it. I'm kind of enjoying it. Okay, so I guess we get a big XP drop when we check this big sack right here. Oh, 171K. I'll get a 66. That's a nice hefty amount of ore as well. Uh, hell yeah, dude, I'll take that. I think in the last clip I said I needed 70 mining. That was false. I actually need 70 smithing and you already saw I achieved that level a little while ago when I was doing steel bars. The task for the hard diary is to smelt an adamantite bar at this place that's really far away. So I forgot I actually went to blast mine because that's the only place I can get some adamant ore. Okay, actually I figured out why I'm so messed up. So there's another hard task that you need to mine this lovakite ore for and you need 65 mining, I figured I may as well do the blast mine to get some extra ore while I'm training the skill. I'll need a bunch of adamant bars so I can make some bolts for Ulm. So that was, 
I'm sorry, I don't, I don't know how I got so like confused right there. Here it is, uh, the hard diary complete. We got level three Rada's blessing and a fat juicy XP lamp for 150K agility XP. Hee <laughs> doggy. How many leak points do I have? 8,440. Well, I'll be damned. We are just about caught up at this point. Ah, magpie. Yes. <sighs> Why can't I get something good from these? I was like one of the first people to get the level for it. And so far it has been completely useless. Oh, time to fight Hespari. I don't know if we can do this. Dead. All right, show me the bucket. Hmm. White berry seeds, man. 95 range, my goodness. What is that? Nature Impley? Come here. No. Yes. A cactus spine. Okay, for real, we're actually gonna end this video off with 10 hard clue scrolls. Enjoy. What? No, we already have the Bandos chaps. I have a duplicate Bandos set. And the last one, can we get third age? No, nope. just kidding. This is the clue with the third age.